Hey everyone, hope you're all having a lovely day today. So I don't know if you've been picking up on this as well, but I feel like not just on my channel, but on other channels as well, all across YouTube, I feel like it just feels like the body of Christ is going through some stuff right now. I feel like on so many comments, on like I said, both my videos and other videos, I see so many people struggling with sin and spiritual warfare and struggling with like, you know, old habits. And I feel like everyone just right now seems to be in a place where they're just not. And again, I, I might be reading too far into it. I don't know. But what I've been picking up is that everyone just seems to kind of feel not great right now and everyone really just seems like they're going through a lot and so today i just wanted to share three truths with you guys that i hope can be encouraging because i know that i too have been feeling like kind of not great recently and so these three things really helped me when i was meditating on them so i really hope that they can be helpful for you guys as well so the first one and obviously the biggest is the fact that our salvation is not based on our performance our salvation is based off of the works of one and that one is not you that one is jesus our salvation is solely based on what jesus has already done for us aka lived this perfect sinless life with died buried rose again that alone paid for our salvation and that is something that is unchanging as long as jesus still lived the sinless life was died buried and rose again we're saved you are saved the minute you believe that the minute you believe the gospel that's the gospel you're saved forever and nothing you do will affect that. I'm so sorry if you're new to this channel and you maybe have heard something different like you need to repent of your sins to be saved or you need to give your life to Christ to be saved. Those things are all things that are good, but those don't save you. You're only saved by what Jesus already did for you. You're saved and going to heaven just because Jesus died for you. Truth number two, and this is actually something that I saw from someone who I follow on Instagram. I'm pretty sure they're a viewer, um, but regardless, they posted this on their story last night and it helped me so much. And that is that there's a big difference between the spirit and the flesh. In scripture, we're told what is spirit is spirit and what is flesh is flesh. The minute we believe the gospel, we are born of the spirit. We are born again. We have a new spirit inside of us. And that is completely separate from the flesh. Our very flesh is sin. That's why it says in scripture that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God because sin is in our very members. So whatever sin you're struggling with in your life, that's part of the flesh. But your spirit is unaffected by that. Your spirit is still intact. Your spirit is still, your spirit is not sin. We're told in scripture that the seed of Christ is in us once we believe and that seed of Christ cannot sin. So if we're struggling with sin, it's in the flesh, but our spirit is not a part of that. And the third and final one is that nothing you do surprises God. I know there are probably times in which you might've done something and thought, I just messed everything up or I just did something and now God hates me for it or oh my gosh, I totally just ruined God's plan for me, etc. all this stuff. But we have to remember that God doesn't see time like we do. We see time like in the present and we can kind of like have a feeling of what we think the future might look like, but God is the only one who can see all the way into the future and all the way into the past. God's the only one who can like see all of time space. So he knew what you were going to do before you even did it. Those times in which you felt like you were on fire for God, doing amazing, you know, doing so great, feeling like, you know, ain't nothing can stop me. God knew that eventually you would mess up and he still kept you going. God does not give up on us. He's the one who put us on this race and he's going to make sure we finish it because he's the one that finishes it for us. If God got you this far, he's not going to drop you. So I really hope this, I need to stop clapping. The next, I literally was going to wear gloves today because I clapped so much and I was going to, I, I literally need to get like you know cones, like how dogs have cones to prevent them from like biting at like, the, I need to get like clap cones for my arms because in every video I'm just like clapping. But I really hope this video helps whoever needed to hear this. I say this at the end of every video. If you ever need to reach out or just need to talk or need help or anything like that, totally feel free to leave a comment down below or reach out to me via email, which will be right down here. Also, I have an Instagram. That one's just kind of for funsies. I haven't posted. So I always say I'm going to post more on it and then I don't. So I need to change that. I apologize. But here's my Instagram if you're interested in following it. Like I said, I don't post that much, but uh, it exists. If you ever have any prayer requests, totally let me know those as well. Also, um, I need to stop clapping. I need to like tie my hands together or something. Um, also, um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button. Whatever it is that you're struggling with right now, it will pass. 
Our struggles here are temporary. Our trials are temporary, but our salvation lasts forever. And that's something to definitely stay encouraged about. And as always, have a lovely rest of your day and God bless.